every different argument comes back to what Inverted Mystic is saying, what uh, uh, Bill Bradley is saying, what I have been saying, that yes, we agree. We need to have these values that we agree on. Context in which there is a God who puts certain moral precepts beyond human judgment. Those arguments you can have without threatening the entire social structure. So again, you can have a, a religious good, religious bad without a, a crumbling society. What is very difficult is to have a social structure at all in the- So it's difficult to have a social structure at all. The absence of- Without- Fundamental moral precepts. Without fundamental moral precepts. That are presupposed by everyone. That everybody accepts. And I think one of the reasons that you're seeing a, a sort of revival of this idea that religion is very important to the West is because one of the things that we have seen is that as religion has become less important to the West, we've seen declining birth rates en masse. We've seen rises in suicidal ideation. We've seen, especially over the last 10 years, tremendous, a tremendous individual atomization, certainly an extraordinary amount of less social connection. Yeah, uh, exactly. I'm, I'm right there with you, Bill. And indeed, indeed, the issue is shared culture. And Shapiro seems to think that it is not possible without religion. An assessment I disagree with. I said shit. <laughs> Me too. That's what this whole channel is about, guys. The, the, uh, we should not be at odds with Ben Shapiro. We agree that shared issue is the, is the problem in the, and the solution. But he's saying, as a Jewish person, that he needs to be these within these framework of this type of religion. Make that make sense. It's so important that we have shared culture, but you can have that one or this one or this one. What? Right, all of these things. Oh, I missed this one. He says, unfortunately, democracy, democracy leads to bureaucracies that devour people by, uh, by democratic will. Much like how religion is a distraction, so is democracy. It's a dead end. The decline from loss of jobs and monopolists destroying the world economy. It does seem like that, but I... I I don't know that it's the the uh, the system. I think it's the people. And the the way that we've created the system is to leave enough room for the people who want to fuck things up to come in and and uh, uh uh you know twist the dials a little bit where it's not me and you you know uh, uh, uh voting on this stuff. It's just like what they want. Shout out to Inverted Mystic over on Twitch. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. So this guy can say religion is the progenitor of most laws and morality, which is true, but also can't say without religion, you can't be a good person. Exactly. I completely agree. You, yeah, you've, you've hit the nail on the head. And this is, you know, uh, we're, we're kind of circling it over and over and over again. But I need you guys to understand that Every different argument comes back to what Inverted Mystic is saying, what uh, uh, Bill Bradley is saying, what I have been saying. That yes, we agree. We need to have these values that we agree on. But we already do. How we came to the values, whether you believe rationally this is the best way to go, or you believe that God said it, therefore, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The fact that it has to do with uh, uh, shared culture, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you came to those values. It just matters that you share those values. Inverted Mystic said, religion is already instilled into our culture. So as, uh, so, so as long as you have uh, the culture, you don't need religion anymore. The problem comes when you start asking why we have these laws and morality. I, I mean, I agree. I absolutely agree with the first part, but I don't even agree with the second part that the, the, there is no problem that comes with asking why we have these laws because we should have answers to those questions. Answers besides God said. We should have answers to those questions. We shouldn't be making laws for no reason. We should be making laws based on uh, logic, rationality, reality, and practicality. As we said, without jobs, people become listless. It's like with the opium wars in China. Because of bad government and bad markets, the people gave up and did drugs. I didn't need that to, get, to do drugs. I was just like, fuck it. Uh, Gontek said, we may live on the backs of giants. What does that mean? You need the giants' whole back to get, uh, backstory to appreciate it. <laughs> Guys, I think we have a comment of the night. Shout out to Gontek. We may live on the backs of giants. What does that mean? You need the entire the giant's entire backstory to appreciate it? No, not at all. Not at all. 
Well said, sir. Well said. Things. Well, atomization, certainly an extraordinary amount of less social connection, right? All of these things are things that, frankly, used to be provided by church and these social institutions that, again, were oriented toward a single purpose. So when, when you talk about the idea- Because you couldn't get them anywhere else. Yeah, that- I'm going to put aside the free will discussion because I think, again, there's it's easy to get caught up in the reversion to the argument that I was making before when you were saying- Because you're wrong. That, you know, can you argue the man out of out of stabbing you? To, to use your framework, I mean, you can't argue him out of doing anything. I mean, you're, you're going to say words, the words are going to have an impact. You can't argue him out of, out of doing anything. But So how is that not the end of the conversation? How is that not the end of the conversation? If there is a possibility that your ideology can be used by a crazy person to justifiably murder innocent people, then it's not a good ideology regardless of what's in it. Full stop. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.